we've also said here that they should be sent to less reached nations. The Joshua Project is by no means inspired, but a helpful sort of uh, organization out there that helps gives statistics and understandings and definitions to certain areas of, uh, uh, of missiology, this understanding of, of world missions. And one of the things that they do is that they collate uh, and, and put into uh, available statistics, you can go and find them online, the amount of Christians and the percentage of every population of Christians in the whole world, in every nation, and more than that, and this becomes important for our understanding about modern day missions, is every people group. Because we'll be, we'll be too blinded uh, uh, and naive as we look at world missions if we only think in terms of geopolitical nations. Because if we simply think of somewhere we've been before as a church, like Myanmar, Myanmar has within it hundreds of lesser and smaller people groups. And, and a people group is someone, either they have a different language or they have different culture, different, different cultural customs and different things like that. And so it's, it's simply naive to say, well, Burma's been reached, the whole of Myanmar has now been reached, but rather we need to think more specifically about people groups. And as we said, unreached or less reached people groups. Here's how the Joshua Project defines an unreached or least reached people group. An unreached or least reached people group is a people group among which there is no indigenous community of believing Christians with adequate numbers and resources to evangelize their people group without outside assistance. So, so it's, a, it's, it's a people group of, of which the, the Christians are usually somewhere between 0 and 2% of the population, and they don't have enough resources, education, money, a number of churches. They don't have enough pastors and trainers within their churches to be able to start evangelizing and multiplying churches on their own, yet they still lean heavily on the work of sending uh, churches from other richer, more resourced, more well-taught, more established churches. I don't just mean white Western churches. I mean whatever answers that need. The resourced, the equipped, the trained, the learned, and the willing. So, and I, I, I simply bring in that definition because that, that's how I use the word unreached. Uh, uh, less reached is just an area or a people group that has less Christians and less Christianization than maybe we might be used to, where, where Christians are persecuted, the name of Christ is not widely known. But unreached is specifically those people with less than 2% of their population being Christian. And as we stand today, there is 4 billion, that's 4 billion, a half of the world's population at present that are in the category of superficially reached, which is barely reached, all the way down to absolutely unreached, no reported Christians among them. That is to say, if tonight was the night that Christ himself had ordained by, by his Father sending to return and bring about the final judgment, we would see an unending a, a wave of souls swept over into hell to the number of four billion, half the world's population now judged in their sin. It is, it is, it is, it is four billion others, or, 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 or uh, uh, three, uh, the, the rest of the, the earth's population at whatever point in history, it's the rest that not, are not necessarily Christian, don't hear us saying that, but live within a people group that have easy enough access to the gospel. And so we see that while every single geopolitical uh, uh, nation at present has at least some Christians within them, it is not the case that everybody lives within the reach or the hearing of the preached gospel, and therefore the task is by no means completed.